Hello. I'm going to be painting a baby giraffe. Um, yeah. So we'll just go step by step from the sketch to the finished piece in about an hour. So um, let me just go over the supplies that I have real quick. So first we've got, uh, you know, just your standard drawing pencils, which, you know, you could use any type of pencil really. And then there's an eraser, of course. So that's for our initial sketch. And when we get to painting, I have, I have four different sizes of paintbrush, but really you just need kind of a bigger one and a smaller one and a detailed one is always good to have too. And then of course I got, um, actually today I made my own palette just because mine is a complete disaster. I thought I'd start over and try something new. So um, I just went and got uh, some cardboard and um, I wrapped it in uh, parchment paper. And so it looks like it works out okay. So um, I put some, what did I put? Some sort of blue. I put some sort of blue on there so far, but we're gonna like put that aside for now. All right. So let's just start drawing. I figure we can start with um, just kind of a circle right about in the middle, a little bit up high. Right about in the middle, yeah. About that size, if you can see. Like a little darker. There. So that's step one. And put like a smaller circle down here, not too far away, because that's going to be the end of the nose. So if you can imagine, this is the end of the nose, and this will be the jaw, and one of the ears will be right here, and the eye will be right here. So you don't want to make it too incredibly long, because I mean, well, I guess you could do what you want, but. So there's that. And your next step will just be, this is probably the hardest part right here is the, the jawline. So we're going to just tackle it right away. So what this part right here is going to want to do is not connect to this bottom of this here, but it's going to want to go a little bit below. So that'll be the bottom lip. And then you'll want to just kind of take a step up and then connect the bottom right there. All right, and on the top of this, it's gonna be like the other side of the nostril. So just kind of make a bump right there. It's not an egg. <laughs> okay. Yay, okay, so let's see, where are we? Um, around here, I would say, make kind of like the, the eye area for the other side of the eye. And then you kind of want to just connect it like that. And that's, that's general, general muzzle type action right there. So that'll be kind of the, the most difficult part is getting that shape down. Um, you know, I'm not quite sure. I'm, you know, really satisfied with my mind yet. Well, you know, we'll just kind of see what happens because it's just a sketch right now. All right. So... Um, we can fill in the, some of the missing parts right here. Um, we can complete this smile area or, you know, mouth area. He doesn't have to smile. He wants. You know, and sometimes, sometimes you'll want to extend this area, you know, shorten it or whatever. Do what feels right. And don't forget this jaw is kind of, it can be pretty chunky if you want it to be. All right, so depending on, um, you know, where your balls are here, you're going to want to put the neck in, make it a little curved. And I wasn't really planning on making it that long, so I'm going to do a little on-the-fly editing right here. Don't try this, or you can try this at home if you want. I don't care. 
So, I'm just going to go like that. Um, so before uh, I set up here, um, I mapped out with this uh, tape, this kind of like painter's tape um, edges so that it would look like uh, crisp when I take it off. <coughs> so you can do that if you want or not. It's up to you. All right. So I guess next we can maybe even work on the ears. Just make them however you think that they should be. I think that they're kind of like hairy or something in the middle. And as I was doing, like, yeah, it's a giraffe head. <laughs> um, as I was doing the sketches for this, I noticed that it could also be, here, I'll just even show you if it's that. I even noticed that it could be like a zebra or a unicorn. I mean, this, this is really kind of just a, you know, a general shape as long as you don't go too far because, you know, giraffes with their long necks are, you, you can pretty much uh, guess that it's a giraffe. But anyway, so here is uh, another nostril right here. You're going to want to make it kind of have a little bit of depth. And we can even make the other ear just somewhere in this general area. You can see the inside of it as well. And then, of course, you have those little, I, I really, if anybody knows what these things are called, you know, feel free to pipe in. I have no clue. Uh, nubs? Nubbins? Um, I don't know. Well, whatever it is, here they are. All right. Give them a little bit of hair, uh, hairdo. And I know it's, I said it's a baby giraffe, but, you know, he can be whatever age you want him to be. He can... Maybe a teenager giraffe or a boomer giraffe. You're going to want to put his eye in somewhere around here. Give him some nice, long, beautiful eyelashes. All right. And, you know, you'll go through erasing some of the lines that you don't want because the jaw doesn't go all the way up here. So we can just keep it that and then erase this circle over here and kind of make make it what you what you hope it would be oh and don't forget he's got another eye here so give him some eyelashes there too some hair peeking out. All right. Uh, Ossicones. Okay. Thank you. Leave it on. All right. Perfect. So, the little ossicones. I'm just going to revise this how you want. I'm going to make it a little thicker. Um, and you're also going to want to maybe do some of those uh, patterns right here. Make them kind of however, however you feel like you want them. Like, I think that they're pretty much all like different shapes, but they kind of connect together. And um, I know that they can continue on the face a little bit, but they get smaller, like so. And we can work on the eye later, but, you know, if you have any kind of ideas of what you want to do with the eye, now's the time to just kind of get it in there. Yeah. And, I don't know, I mean, you could do some fun things with this. Uh, I'll call her, this, this one, so, so Patricia, um, 
She's going to probably have some sort of unique mark here, I would think. Let's do something like, or let me try this. Bear with me. Thinking maybe just giving, giving Patricia just kind of like a little heart mark. Because I feel like it. All right. A long tongue? <laughs> uh, don't they have, I think they have like a black tongue, don't they? I don't know. All right. So I think I like what uh, what's going on here enough where I can start doing my painting part. So let's do it. So I already have uh, blue, a purple tongue, jeez. <laughs> okay, Cindy, your obsession with tongues. Um, <laughs> I am going to actually use this ultramarine color that I haven't used in a while to do the background area. I see, is that, what? <laughs> And um, I also used an ultramarine, I used cerulean blue, and yeah, I think that I don't want to go too crazy, I just want to go with some white too. Right, here goes. Okay, we're going to use our uh, big old brush. And I'm just going to mix some of my blues and get a lot of uh, water. Um, yeah. And then do kind of what we did last time. Um, you know, I don't really feel like reinventing the wheel or anything right now. So let's just keep it simple. Get some, just some general color in there. I've seen... Uh, you know, I mean, well, you know, he's he's up there. He's got a tall neck, so it would make sense if you want to paint like the tops of trees or something in the background like that, um, clouds, to illustrate, you know, the fact that they're up high. So an airplane going by, perhaps. I don't know. All right. Alright, so what I'm doing, if, you, if anybody just joined, I'm just going to the edges, I'm doing a, a background wash, just something simple, you know, I may put in clouds later or something, but, you know, just, just your general wash for now. The idea is not to take this too seriously and just to kind of have fun doing it. Yeah, so no need to stress yourself out with anything difficult. If you'd rather do, you know, a different type of background, it's totally up to you. Uh, I just think that any type of background usually looks pretty, pretty neat.
so I was on, um, well, I gotta tell, I gotta tell somebody here. Um, so I was on my, uh, local, I think it's like a rooster next door thing. And there was a post that, uh, somebody made in my neighborhood that said, uh, you know, there's a pack of, um, pack of huskies running around, uh, the neighborhood. I was just about to jump in my car so I could go find these huskies because, you know, it's not something you see every day. Turns out, um, she was just, she misspoke and it ended up just being coyotes or whatever. I was a little disappointed because, you know, pack of wild huskies sounds fun. I didn't actually use any of the white yet, but I can actually, let's see, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to mix in a little white just to see what I get. It's just a really light one. Or... All right. So when I look at this from a couple feet away, I'm not really liking how this is the only blue up here. So I'm going to add some down here. I just up shades. So just like, you know, adjust it as you see fit. If you don't want to do a blue sky, you know, any sky color really works. So you want to do any type of background really. This is what I'm doing. So, I think that's all right. Yeah, there's there's always coyotes around here. Um, they're, I guess they're out more now because there's less cars around because of quarantine people. So they're kind of just taking over a little bit. But, uh, yeah, a lot of people have been saying their pets have been snatched and all that other stuff, which is extra layer of fun. Alright, hmm, so what should we do now? Let's do, let's just do the, you know, the inside color of this one. So, um, as far as I know, giraffes are kind of yellowish and brownish, but, um, we, you know, we don't need to do that. We could do pink and purple, we can do whatever we want. Um, so... I, you know, maybe I do want to do pink, so I'm going to do that, actually. I'm going to do pink and, and yellow and see where it goes. So, I got this um, medium magenta, but it looks like it's super close to being out, so. Uh, what we got? What we got? You know what? Uh, it is out. So, any birthday present, I need medium magenta. That one's... Done for. So I can still make my own paint though. Never fear. Never get creative here. Yeah. It's pretty terrifying. Yeah, we have coyotes uh, picking up dogs here and there around here too. Especially the little ones. Little dogs. Uh, Jill, she doesn't go out enough. She's, she's more of an indoor girl. All right, so I said I was gonna do kind of like a pink, and I ain't kidding. I'm gonna get a medium brush. Oh, do go.
and kind of just go for it. Yeah, Jill would probably kick their asses. I'm not too worried about her. She's a tough little bitch. I do. She's sitting right here. And so the things in the back, of course, you might want to, if you're doing what I'm doing and just making your own colors, you might add the, what I'm doing is just adding more red to make it darker. So maybe that'll, yeah, that'll work. the stuff in the background and the stuff with um you know underneath the lid those parts with a good uh, good amount of shadow and shade and then you can either paint over or go around the dots i just prefer to go around them no particular reason let me put some uh So as we're painting this, we can also do a similar thing that we did with the fish and um, go a little darker around the edges and lighter in it yeah. so that uh, it, it kind of makes it look more longer. So it looks like somehow I got a little bit of blue mixed in there and it's one of those happy accidents because I think it looks pretty neat. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of blue with the white. Kind of just work with that. I can put that elsewhere too, probably.
Yeah, so you can do as much or, or as, of course, as little as you would like. Um, you got your basic shape on there, and um, again, you're not showing most of this, so if you wanted to even, I think it's a little overkill because I tried it in sketch and it just was a little too crazy, but make a little horn, make a giraffe horn. So, if anybody makes a giraffe horn, I would love to see it. this a little bit darker. I'm going to get a smaller brush, but we can even do the eye, but we want to do the detail brush first here. Is this PG-13? Well, I think so. It could be. I mean, I'm not going to like draw a, a dick on this um, giraffe or anything right now, but uh, it, it is a potential to become PG-13 because um, I'm not, I'm not really trying to censor myself right now. <clears throat> Unless you want me to draw a dick on it. I'm open to uh, suggestions, I suppose. Okay. So what I just did, what did I do? Um, I put this sexy ass color, dioxazine purple, onto my palette and mixed it with some of my darker blue. Um, what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to use it to paint some of the darker areas like the nostril. Let me just kind of go over the mouth area and give it some. <laughs> yes, please, on what? Yes, please, on, on the deck. <laughs> So get your eye in there, get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> so here's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of making a circle and then a smaller circle and we will we will change this a little bit it's a little bogus right now but and then just make sure you use that water too water is your friend Yeah, so just go along and maybe, uh, you know, just go from light colors. We were doing some light colors first, you know, get into those darker colors and see what you come up with. There's really no right or wrong order to do it. I'm kind of uh, a 
probably could be, you know, if I were to be strategic about it, I'd, I'd probably paint underneath this first before I put the, uh, the darker color on, but we don't care. Do it. Do it. Do it. And this hair, don't make it even, just make sure it's different lengths and kind of go in different directions. That's uh, another characteristic of the my little giraffe friend. At least he does not have a hairbrush at home. But he doesn't, you know. So again, any area that you feel might need a uh, shadow, um, here. do that, the shadow down. I didn't plan for this song to come on, but I don't know if you guys can hear it, but that's PG-13. So maybe I'll even start with these uh, marks. I just want to make them purple. So um, I've decided kind of in my mind just now that I want to do kind of like a purple to something else, kind of deal with the, um, with the spots. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm going to just mix some with red because I want to just fade the, the purple into kind of a red color, so how did you do that? And then we'll bring some of this, well, all of them, I'm going to do it work, but some of this red is going to come down to that, some of the purple is going to come up. So it's all blended. Yeah, 
There's my little heart that I got. Um, yeah, it'd, be, it'd be fun to put kind of multiple different you know, shapes in there. I think like uh, maybe Lucky Charms or what have you. Uh, I guess I gotta choose another color to um, blend to, and I don't know. Yellow, yellow would be weird. I think maybe let's just try yellow. It could be weird, but um, we're gonna try it anyway. Get weird, guys. Yeah. Okay, this is fine. So I mixed yellow and uh, it's not actually orange, but came out of a thing. It's I mixed uh, the yellow that I have and the red that I have. I think they're both cadmium, something like that. Yeah, and we'll, you know, add some to the ones below. So let's keep it the end of the day. And then we'll gradually move our way back up to a brighter yellow. And you know you could do this however however you want. I keep saying that, but I really I really really mean it. Do what you want. Um, I didn't quite plan for it to be this funky color, but uh, I kind of had an idea I wanted to do it before before I started. Uh, so if you kind of even have a vague idea of what you want to do, you can just jump into it and see where it goes. You don't have to have like a super exact idea of every last bit before you start because then sometimes it's even hard to just get started like that because you're always waiting for you know the right time So there's that yellow. I'm gonna give him some. He's almost looking super cartoony, actually. It's funny. I'm gonna give him uh, some better hair. Use my big brush for this. Your brush. I'm going to get some pink and put it in his ears. And I'll probably have to paint over a few things again, but uh, whatever. It's almost 
slightly different, okay. Watch that I got. I really like Lisa Frank, by the way. Good stuff, man. A little unintentional here to resemble it, but... Okay, yeah, and you can also, um, actually, if it's dry, make sure it's dry. Some of these, some of these marks, you can just go in and erase whenever you feel like it. I don't even care a lot of times that the marks are there, but... Yeah, yeah I think they're fine. All right. Uh, we could do some highlights. Let's do some highlights. So, I'll just grab some titanium white and put it wherever you feel like it needs to go. It's hard to get quite wrong, especially if, you know, your light source is any old which way. Maybe put one down the neck, kind of zigzagging around some of these markings. Okay, let's get some more details in my eye, I think. Eyelashes. You can give that same type of attention to uh, some other this, this fluff up here. If you have layers. Maybe a little bit wrong, but you know, I'm not going to make that fix it. So, um, you know, we start with more more of a watered down paint because we're doing acrylics or, you know, if you're doing watercolors, you know, you start with the watered down stuff. And for the detail, you might not need as much water. And uh, also because it gives a richer color. But, you know, play with the stuff long enough and you'll figure that out for yourself, so. I was looking online for some paint sets today because I need some new colors and I have I have some paints that work better than others. Maybe I should kind of tell you about it. Um, so this golden acrylics, they usually work pretty darn good. I'd recommend them. Um, I don't know what the heck this is, but some of them that don't work as well, stay away from stuff like this. This is some garbage. And I mean, this one, that one is that one is pretty bad. Uh, this one, it turned into like the consistency of snot pretty quick. I don't know what it is, but the basic the, those two are are like very garbage. <coughs> this guy I had and he worked okay, but he's like too thick. <coughs> he was okay. Anyway. There you have it.
So the last time I got a couple, uh, I got to see a couple people's koi drawing or paintings, and it was awesome to see that. So if anybody has uh, their baby giraffe painting that they'd like to show off later, I'd be happy to see that too. Now, uh, let's see. I mean, I think it would be kind of nice to get some um, contrast between some of these last items here. Cause, uh, I'm only going to do this for another 10 or so minutes. So, um, I only want to go so far with it, but uh, I will show you what I'm going to do next. I am going to put some darker colors in the back so that it contrasts this a little bit more. You know that, that thing that they always say, I want it to pop. Alright. So last 10 minutes here, again, what I'm doing, just giving this background a little bit more, uh, more, just a darker color, just so that it's got more contrast between the uh, little giraffe guy. So I've got three colors I'm using. I've got a lighter blue and a darker blue and a purple. Well, I guess a white too, so. I think the four colors. I'm just going around. And there's some areas up here too in the top that need a little height. So, you know, again, there's no no need to stress out about any of this stuff. I'm just doing it for fun. And you can, I've, I've spent, like, I've had paintings that I've done that I've spent, like, years on. Not because it's taken me years to do it, but just because I, you know, I just wanted to take my time. And it just didn't happen right away. And nobody really ever gave me any shit for it, so I figured that's okay. Actually, well, there's one that I probably need to get done now. Uh, oh my god, all that. Yeah, put some little shiny things in the eyes. Shoot. Um, maybe, maybe a little bit more contrast with those, those facial dots, which, since it's got a little blue up there already, or, you know, continue with that. Outline these puppies. 
a little bit more. They're like little freckles, kind of. And, um, yeah, we can even treat them like they're freckles if you want. You just imagine that's what we're working with. And don't forget, you know, just blend as much as you possibly can with the water. If you want it to have that watercolor look. And again, I'm not trying to seclude any of these colors. I want to just continue a lot of them on until they kind of just dissipate. Or, you know, just going to stop it abruptly. And, yes, we'll separate some of that up. I really like to, if I'm using a color somewhere, I like to use it somewhere else, like this yellow is going to want to go right here, I think. It's like, um, yeah. it's like a, you know, a highlight color, another highlight color. You can bring that color a few different places, like, uh, Right here. And it's nice because it also gives out orange too. Alright. Give it a good blend. What a cute. Whoops. We're almost done here, I think. Um, I think maybe we can try a little bit of highlight, like, you know, put highlights. Frosted tips. That's kind of a nice thing, but we can bring it back. Right?
What else we could possibly do to this? Yeah. I think that's it. So, um, I wonder. Yeah, this will work because it's so close to being dry. But yeah. so satisfying. I wanted it because I did that last time and I was. Uh, I I need to share that. Ah, ASMR, like really, really good stuff here. Okay. You guys want to hear it? That's it. Thank you guys for thank you guys for painting with me. And um, I'm gonna just go ahead and plan on doing this every every Sunday at seven, uh, just an hour from seven to eight, um, painting a different thing. If you have a suggestion or a request or uh, you know something something that maybe like. Maybe you have a, a relative who really likes peacocks and they're like, their birthday's coming up and just say I want to learn how to paint a peacock or something, you know, stuff like that. Um, I'm just mainly doing this to combat boredom and, uh, you know, help people have a little bit of relaxation time. Not much more, not much less. So, um, I guess till next time. Yes, I'll take requests, but you already, this, this was your request, Junko, so let somebody else have a turn. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.